Hello people, Richie here. Just a shortish video on this one. A, sort of a tale of three pies, three cottage pies. Just want to highlight the difference in the amount of fat and sugars in three of the, basically the same product from different manufacturers. You've got this, this one, the, the, hearty, the Hearty Food Co. That's a Tesco owned brand cottage pie. Chef Select, that's Lidl's own brand cottage pie and this one is Inspired Cuisine which is an Aldi's own brand cottage pie they're all made of British beef they've got British beef Red Tractor Assured Beef British Beef British Beef I think it says on the back of this one somewhere yes British Beef anyway you've got the, te the Tesco one it's a so these t those two they're 450 grams. This is a 400 grams, a little bit smaller, but not much. The fat content is five. This is like your effort sort of intake or the amount of fat per pack. Each pack, five grams, which is 7% of your daily amount. Saturates, 1.4 grams, which is 7% of your daily amount. On this one from Aldi's, Fat is 22 grams, which is 31% your daily amount. The saturates is 60% your daily amount. But on this one, this is a Lidl's one, the Chef Select, the Lidl's one. The fat is 27.8 grams, 40% of your recommended daily amount. The saturates 15.8 grams, which is 79% your daily amount. So if you compare, you compare that one, the Tesco one, it's 7% of your, your, your fat. Fat sort of uh, ration of the day. That one is almost like ten times as much for basically the same product, co a cottage pie with, with minced beef, selected vegetables in gravy, topped with fluffy buttery mashed potato. Same with that one, juicy minced beef, buttery mashed potato. And the same with that one, beef mince, sweet carrots, and big dollop of mash. So it's actually, it's actually quite surprising that say three. Three basically the same product from different manufacturers have got wildly different amounts of fat in. I mean, for he for health healthy eating point of view, the Tesco one is probably be the best for you. But probably for for, for taste, well, I mean, I, I've had all three in the past. I've only bought these the last couple of days, but I've had all three in the past. I have to say the Aldi's one, that one has probably got the best the best sort of texture and flavours. Do tend to find Lidl's ones. They, while they're quite tasty, they can tend to be like a little bit, little bit slightly fatty sort of tasting, like because they've got a lot more sort of fat in that in, in the ingredients, I suppose, in the recipes. Anyway, these two are going back in the fridge. And I'm having that one for me dinner in a minute. So, see you on the next one, people. Bye.